Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. For those of you who follow my channel, you probably know that I am a big fan of the Exodus wallet. What we're looking at right here is the Eden wallet, which is the advanced version of Exodus, which is not fully supported by the Exodus team, so you should only download and use this if you're really familiar with Exodus and feel very comfortable with things as bugs can occur. Um, the neat thing about Eden is that there are tons of extra coins that are supported in this wallet compared to Exodus. So these are a lot of the coins that the, the Exodus team is working on adding in to the fully supported Exodus wallet. So this is a great start, but there's no way for one wallet to be able to cover all the different cryptocurrencies. If we go over to CoinMarketCap, the, the total number of coins is, is just absolutely insane. Uh, the, the ICO craze has caused the, the total number of cryptocurrencies to total way more, sorry to just scroll like crazy, um, but the, the number is gets larger and larger every day. Um, and so certainly the, the volume on these coins as we get down into here um, is, is incredibly low. Coin market cap doesn't even track the, the volume on, on all of these. But if we, let's just uh, refresh this page and go back to the top. Um, one thing that is somewhat surprising is that there are not wallets that really support all of the top coins that integrate in in a fashion like Eden. And, and part of the rationale for this is that some of the, the technologies, the blockchain behind some of the, the top cryptocurrencies is so different from others that it's difficult to have them all integrated into one wallet. And so even though many of these are very popular, uh, there are challenges to, to adding them. Um, for example, Monero is one of the, right now it is the highest market cap privacy coin, um, and the, the Exodus team has expressed a lot of interest in adding it into Exodus, but from a technical standpoint, it's just been difficult to do that, but it's on their roadmap of things to add. Um, for me, it's been a challenge to find wallets for all of these particular coins. The Jax wallet is another wallet that is very popular. Um, and so that's one that currently offers Ethereum Classic, whereas Exodus does not have that built in yet. So there are different ways to do this, but it's it's not attractive to have a bunch of different desktop wallets. And so, of course, one alternative is to have a hardware wallet like a, a Trezor or a, a Ledger. Um, but sometimes it's nice to be able to have a desktop wallet so that you can more easily transfer your your coins in and out um, just while you're on your computer. Um, so not trying to provide any financial advice uh, in this video, but one strategy for me has been to accumulate at least a little bit of all of these top coins. Um, I, I, I have a little bit of probably seven of the top 10 coins right now. And for me, surprisingly, there has not been a good wallet solution to Ripple. And so today, um, what I'm going to go through is an installation for what's called the Toast Wallet. So this was a wallet that I found that is supported. So it actually um, can work on your mobile devices. Um, it works for Android and iOS, but also has desktop versions. Um, 
And it's a very simple interface, and actually even the desktop version has the, the mobile design on it. But I, I like the way that they uh, advertise this, a cross-platform Ripple wallet that's simple enough for your grandma, but safe enough for a Swiss banker. So <laughs> it's, um, it, it seems like um, there are no real bells and whistles here. This is pretty straightforward, but what I, I've, I currently haven't found a better place to do this without having to, to move my Ripple to a hardware wallet. And I currently have some Ripple sitting on an exchange. And so I want to get it off there because it's never a good idea to have your cryptocurrencies sitting on an exchange because you don't control the private keys there. So um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the Toast wallet try this out, see what it looks like, see how easy this is to get up and running, walk you through that so that we can do it together, and I will transfer my Ripple over to it if we have a successful installation. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go ahead and download the Mac version and we'll get this installation going. Okay, so I have downloaded the Toast Wallet, I'm going to copy this over, um, I'm going to have the newest version here um, and so I want to, to make sure that everything is, is current to try to get this going and we will now launch this and see what the interface looks like. The first window that launches when we open the wallet is the license agreement so um, at the bottom of this we will be able to create a new wallet and here it is prompting to set a pin. So I will enter that and we'll see what we can do from there. After entering my pin, it is now prompting me for a passphrase. So I'm going to enter that passphrase. So after, it, after you enter your passphrase, the next screen that it immediately takes you to is a recovery phrase of six words and once you confirm that you have written down that six word phrase um, they send you to a screen that shows uh, or asks you if you want to support Toast Wallet. Um, right now I'm going to, to bypass this and say not at this time. Um, currently I don't have an account, so I will probably have to add an account. Let's see what the options are here. So home, that looks like the screen that I'm on right now. Um, this is a send option, and then we have properties. So you can change your pin, your passphrase, you can back up the wallet, that'll be important. Um, and currently, you can lock and unlock the wallet. All right, so that is an automatic lock, uh, so you don't have to, to leave it unlocked on your computer if you don't want to. Um, so I will re-enter my uh, passphrase here, and then we will set up a new account and see if we can transfer some Ripple over. Okay, so let's see if we add an account, if that gives us a new address. Great, so we can generate a new address. Um, this new address has not yet been added to your wallet. Um, okay, so we have generated an account address. All right, so it's made a new address uh, for me that we can send Ripple to, um, and I just have to enter a passphrase, and then I'll be able to, to make this a destination address that I can send Ripple to from uh, any exchange. So let's enter my passphrase and we'll click import. Ripple address added successfully. Okay, so that is my new address. Let's click on that. It says not activated yet. Um, so we should be able to send to that. Um, let's go back. I'm not sure what the the activated aspect is, and that may just be because there's not anything in it yet. Um, no transactions found because that's new. Um, so we'll go ahead and see if giving a first transaction allows us to um, 
have this become activated. Or before we uh, send anything, let's check. Um, there is a, a Discord that we can join to look for questions. Um, looks like there is an FAQ here. So let's see if there's anything about activation. Um, I'm going to do a quick search for that. All right. Um, 21 XRP is sufficient to activate your new address and test the wallet. We also recommend that you send um, 1 XRP back to your exchange from your Toast wallet to ensure you're happy with the way the wallet operates before using the wallet further. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll do a small amount. Um, it's telling me that 21 is the minimum that we need to activate the wallet. So let's see if that is the case. Um, all right, so looks like it, it quickly locks itself back. So I'm gonna unlock it again, and then we'll try to send over 21 XRP. Okay, so we've unlocked it and all right, I'm going to copy my address and I'm going to go over to Bitrix and here I have Ripple and I am going to send this to my new Ripple address. I'm going to send um, quantity 21. Um, Let's see. So I have an address. I don't have a tag for Ripple. Um, looks like the transaction fee is going to be five Ripple. So we're going to have to increase this um, to 26 to test it out to get 21 into the wallet. Um, we'll see if that tag is required. Um, I'm actually going to go back to the FAQ and see if there's any information about the tag. Um, I forgot to add a destination tag. What do I do? Um, all right, so let's see. Um, first locate the transaction by entering the address. Um, expand the address. Um, all right, so I'm going to read through this, guys. I'll pause it and come back, and then we'll try to send this and see if we can activate the wallet. Okay, so continuing on the uh, FAQ for the Toast wallet, my exchange is asking me for a destination tag. What do I put? If you are transferring to your own wallet address, which is what I'm doing in the case of sending it to my Toast wallet, you can use a destination tag zero. Um, furthermore, I looked this up on Reddit and it get, I found more information on destination tags. Um, the short answer is that if you are receiving payment to your personal Ripple address, the destination tag is not important. Um, but if you are depositing XRP to an exchange, the destination tag matters. So if this is something that you would like me to look into more in a future video, um, let me know in the comments below and we can talk about this in more detail. And I will definitely be doing more research on this, uh, working with Ripple more in the future. But for now, to get this into the Toast wallet, I am going to enter a tag of zero and I'm going to withdraw. And so now it's going to ask for my two factor so I will enter that in and we will send the withdrawal. Um, so that should be it. So that will run the test for um, sending everything over um, and that will be a quick test of a small amount of Ripple before I send over my full balance. Um, so going back to the Toast wallet, um, Let's just, uh, we'll re-enter the pin and go back in. All right, so that is very fast, and there it is. Um, 21 XRP in my wallet now. Uh, so fantastic. Uh, that works really well. Um, looks like this will be a place where I can get everything off of 
the exchange and you can send things out, um, send this back. Here is the option to do that destination tag. Um, it even says here, many exchanges require this. Uh, so again, if, if this is something that we should cover in more detail, just let me know in the comments below. Um, but overall, Toast Wallet, this looks very easy to use, easy to get up and running. Hope this has been a useful walkthrough of getting the Toast Wallet up and running for anyone who's purchased any amount of Ripple. It's always best to, to keep your coins off of the exchanges, put them in a place where you have absolute control of them. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on cryptocurrency. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.